A bevy of beauties and a party about to begin. What more lively combination could you ask for? But this party is a deadly serious affair. There is none of that deafening cocktail party conversation. There isn't even a pool to push anyone into. No, the atmosphere is calm and dignified. The only noise during the proceedings will be a slight but unmistakable guzzling sound and, dare we say it, an occasional carefully muted burp. The party is, in fact, a contest to see who can swallow spaghetti fastest. The beauties from London's talk of the town or the hairy gentlemen of the Handlebar Club, who are recognised, in some places, world champion spaghetti eaters. It is the ladies who threw down the glove and challenged the men, and our hirsute gallants have accepted both. The challenge and the gloves. The gloves are worn as a handicap. They're off. Yards and yards and yards of spaghetti start a downhill journey. The men, nearly all of whom saw service during the war, are considerably older than the girls and of course have an unfair advantage with their much larger waist measurements. Misguided but well-meaning help for the girls makes the going even harder, while at least one gent finds time for a quick beer. Cheating is allowed, if it's not too obvious, although the waiter is obviously a spy in the pay of the handlebar club. The race has become a procession. The girls have the spirit, but not the knack or carefree gorging, which is the mark of your true champion. The ladies eat like birds, yet so do the men. They eat like vultures. Our heroes, bulging slightly at the seams, have knocked off their portions in near record time, while the girls, with more thought of their figures than the victor's laurels perhaps, accept defeat gracefully. Never, surely, has a champion team displayed such uninhibited zeal, such spaghetti-sparing skill, or such graceful guzzling, nor certainly such messy moustaches.